In this tutorial, you will explore what the purpose of the Dropbox is, where you will find a Dropbox in your course, how to use the Dropbox, and what to look for after using the Dropbox. Let's get started. In EDL courses, there are assignments you complete digitally, such as quizzes and discussion board questions. But there are also assignments that you will have to write responses for, or you might even be asked to complete projects or presentations in the form of documents, photos, or videos that you will need to submit to your teacher. This is where the Dropbox comes in. Think of the Dropbox as a Turnitin folder. Instead of emailing your teacher your completed assignments, you'll submit them via the Dropbox and your teacher will be able to view them on their end. Let's take a look at where these Dropboxes are located within a unit. You'll see that after any activity in a unit that requires you to complete an assignment, you'll find a follow-up Dropbox for that activity. Dropboxes are indicated with the paper assignment icon. You can see in this unit, there are three Dropboxes and they immediately follow the assignment they go with. There is one for the critical thinking questions, the lab, and the activity. Let's use the critical thinking Dropbox as an example of how you can submit assignments to your teacher. After you viewed the questions and typed out your answers on a separate document, you're ready to submit them. To submit these questions, you click on the critical thinking Dropbox. First, you'll notice a Dropbox gives you the option to write your teacher a note with this assignment. For example, if you want to let them know you had trouble with a question, or want to add a picture of your work, or a video, or even an audio message, you can. You can also add math equations to your note by using the equation keypad. Any comment you create and submit with your assignment, your teacher will be able to view it. To attach your assignment to the Dropbox, click on the big plus sign icon. You will be given two ways to submit files to your teacher. First, by choosing a Google document, or second, uploading a document from your computer. You will only use a Google document attachment feature if your teacher has directed you to use this. Most students will be uploading documents from their computers. To upload from your computer, you select attach a file and a window will open for you to choose the file you wanna submit. Select it and click on open. Then click Upload. This will attach the document to the Dropbox. If you accidentally uploaded the wrong file, you can click on the trash icon to delete the file, and then go through the process of attaching a file again. When you are ready to submit your assignment to your teacher for grading, click on Submit My Work. Once the system has successfully submitted your assignment to your teacher, you will receive a notice saying that you have successfully submitted the assignment and you will find a status of submitted above the comment box. After your teacher has graded the assignment, you will see your grade on the Dropbox page. And if your teacher has given you any feedback on your assignment, you will also see that the submission status indicates that you have feedback to view. Click on View Grade Details to get more detailed information about the grading on your assignment. This same Dropbox process is used for all activities that require you to submit assignments to your teacher. In this tutorial, you explored what the purpose of a Dropbox is, where you will find a Dropbox in your course, how to use the Dropbox, and what to look for after using the Dropbox.